a remote dirt road in northeastern Brazil, the country's poorest region. This is where Heraldo Santos takes us to see where his cousin Luis Inácio Lula da Silva was born, or at least an exact replica of the home of Dona Lindu, Lula's mother. The original fell down years ago. This was the typical house of subsistence farmers, made of mud and coconut tree sticks, with no running water or electricity. It's important to reconstruct this story for future generations, so that they can assimilate Lula's story and realize that they too can fight for collective justice in these times of individualism. This was the bedroom where the family of 10 slept, and this suitcase was used as a closet until Lula's mother, who was illiterate, decided to take all of her children to Sao Paulo, never dreaming who one of her youngest sons would eventually become. Lula began working at the age of 14 and went on to become a formidable trade union leader and founder of the Workers' Party, or PT. He had little formal education, but an abundance of charisma and negotiating skills. In 2003, Lula became Brazil's first working-class president. He introduced sweeping social reforms to combat poverty and lift the station of working-class Brazilians, from providing education to fresh water access for people like Paulo Gomes. I began to love Lula long ago like a father, a hero, because honestly, he embraces the cause of the poor. Massive housing projects also helped lift 33 million people from poverty during his two terms, which coincided with a boom in prices for Brazilian commodities. Brazil's economy soared. Yet all was not well. Nagging charges of corruption had long surrounded him and his political party. A multi-billion dollar graft scandal exploded after he left office in 2010, just as the economy began regressing. Millions of Brazilians turned on Lula, demanding he go to jail. If Lula is not in prison, he will return to power and keep stealing. He's the ringleader of them all. He was convicted and imprisoned on charges of money laundering and corruption, which he denied, but was released 18 months later when the Supreme Court ruled that all of Lula's convictions be annulled because of suspect procedural practices. Now, 12 years after he left office with more than 80% approval ratings, an older and perhaps more cautious Lula has returned, promising to bring back better days, especially for the poor. The big question is, can he pull it off again? Lucia Newman Al Jazeera, Caetes, Pernambuco, Brazil.